Hey y'all, I'm Michelle Coyle and I help queer entrepreneurs start and grow. And today we are going to be talking about the three things that you need to do before you can start a socially conscious business. Now listen, I have a whole bunch of people come to me all the time wondering if they should start a business, why they should start a business, how they should start a business, what business should they start. And so we need a place to start. And so we're going to start here right now. Listen, what we're learning today, these three things that I'm about to tell you are going to not only save you a ton of time and money, but they're also going to help you stick in there when the going gets tough. And we know that's what great entrepreneurs really do. We're able to really stick it out when things get weird and things get hard. Uh, and so these three things are going to help you do that. I'm going to get into it right now. All right. Tip number one, and I want you to get grab a pen if you want to or, or, or digitally take notes because this is important stuff. Tip number one, I want you to get in touch with your goal. It's really, really difficult to get anywhere or to do anything or to achieve anything if we don't understand where we're going and we don't know what the goal is in the end. Okay, so we've got short-term goals and we've got long-term goals. In the short term, I need you to figure out in the next year, how much money do you need to bring in to feel okay? You got to be able to replace your income if you're coming from a job. You got to be able to provide for your household. You got to be able to eat. You got to be able to pay your rent, whatever you need to do. What I need you to do is bring enough money in in that first year that you're okay, that you're calm, that your lizard brain is not freaking out and saying, how are we going to eat? You know, how are we going to pay the rent? Because it's very, very difficult to be creative, to innovate, or to serve in any way if you're freaking out about those types of things. So I want you to write that down. What's the amount of money that you need to be bringing in in the next year in order to feel cool and to feel happy and to feel like your basic needs are taken care of? Okay, so that's basic goal. And now let's go to stretch goal. All right, so one of the things that, I'm, uh, that I usually tell people when I'm trying to get to a larger vision is... Think about five years out from now, and I will wave my magic business lady wand, okay, and everything is perfect in your life, and I want you to think about and write down what does it look like in a holistic way, okay? So not only what does it look like in terms of how much money the business is bringing in, how much money you as a person are bringing in, is there a team there, is there a physical location aspect to this, what does that look like? But also, what does your life look like outside of the business? What does your personal life look like? What does it look like in terms of your ability to impact and help people and make a change, right? If you're trying to launch a socially conscious or socially responsible business, impact-focused business, what is it that you, what impact do you want to have had in five years, okay? So write that down, first of all, because if we don't have a goal, then it's going to be really impossible to figure out what we need to do to meet the goal, all right? So let's get a vision. Let's set that down. All right, number two, I want you to really get in touch with your why. Why are you doing this? Again, if this is a socially responsible business, if it's an impact-focused business, it's because there's somebody that you want to help, some type of people, right? I'm focused on helping queer entrepreneurs because to me it's important to help people that are marginalized and are, you know, aren't necessarily given every opportunity in corporate life to be able to go out and get things for themselves. That's my why. That gets me up every day. That gets me excited to work in the morning. What's yours? Who do you want to help? What do you want to be doing and why are you doing this? It's so important to not only write that down and articulate it for yourself now, but also to keep that in mind and revisit it every single day. Remember when I said, this is going to help you get through the tough times, okay? So when things are hard and when money is stressful and when you're struggling to make payroll, when you're wondering why the hell you do this at all, I know, I'm not making it sound great. Entrepreneurship, it's not a cakewalk. It's a little bit difficult, right? You're wondering why you do this at all. Remember why you do it. You know exactly why you're doing it. Why do you want to start this? Who are you trying to help? What are you trying to connect with? All of the best entrepreneurship comes from this, okay? It all comes from there's a market need and there's people that need something and you've got a product or service that can meet that need. So as long as you stay focused on who needs my help and what can I do to help them, you're going to be fantastic as an entrepreneur. Stay focused on that. All right, number three, I need you to figure out exactly what it is that you're doing to meet this need. Look, I know this sounds silly because, of course, you know, you think, well, of course I know what I want my business to be. You know what? I don't know that you do. I have a lot of people that I talk to on a daily basis who really have a very vague and fuzzy idea of what a business is. And they say, well, maybe I can do this and maybe I can do that. And I would say, okay, yeah, maybe you could walk dogs or mow lawns or, you know, drive for a lift. There's a lot of things that you could do. But what is it that you want to do? And what is it that you're, you know, put on this earth to do the thing that you're amazing at that meets the market need? We need to know that what. We can figure out how all day long. Really, really hard to figure out how if we don't know exactly what you're doing. Okay, so just to recap, three things that we need here. We need to know the goals, number one. We need to know the goals, need to know the vision. Number two, 
We need to know why. Why are we doing this? Who are we trying to help? And what is, you know, what difference does this make? And number three, we need to know exactly what, exactly how am I going to help these people that I really want to help? And is it a service? Is it a product? What does it do? And how does it help these people? That's really, really important to know. All right, great. Thanks guys for hanging in here with me today. Listen, if you liked what I said today, I'd love it if you wanted to subscribe to my channel. Just click the button below and hit subscribe. You get all the free business tips. We're going to be going up a couple times a week. We're going to be doing this a lot. All right. Uh, hit me up in the comments if there's any kind of thing that you want to see me talk about, any tips that you want. I would love to know. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you'd like to see a video about. All right. So listen, guys. I'm really excited to see what you come up with. I'm excited to see what kind of business you're working on. Tell me about it. And you know what? I know you can do this. Go out there, let your light shine, and we'll see you next time.